What makes a summer ale a summer ale? I don't know. I just like them. I suppose I should qualify that. I like them in the summer. I mean, there's nothing that says I can't enjoy them some other time of the year, but it's designed to be drunk in the summer, they're freshest in the summer, and the flavors are just intended to be enjoyed this season. So this is Kulshan's Greenwood. Kulshan's Greenwood Summer Ale. I have enjoyed several summer ales. Well, a few summer ales. Several means a lot. A few means two or three. I don't know. My mom taught me that one. What is it with making grammatical jokes in both my videos today? I don't know. Um, anyways, I've had a couple Kulshans. They tend to make pretty good beers. I think the first ones of theirs that I reviewed was way back in the first couple months of my channel. They're Kitten Mittens. Winter Warmer. I think I enjoyed that one, if I recall. I probably did. This is not the first can of Greenwood that I have drunk. Um, I think my favorite summer ale right now is Fremont's Summer Ale, which I have described as being if you tasked a grown-up with making lemonade. Not spiked lemonade, not something so tawdry as that, but a deliciously um, citrus-adjacent dry pale ale. Um, this one is described as being a refreshing northwest summer ale with notes of citrus and tropical fruit, and it has mosaic, Eldorado, Azaka, and Idaho 7 hops. Now a pale ale is an ale that is pale. It is not necessarily heavily hopped, though traditionally it will be moderately hopped, uh, slightly to moderately hopped. Uh, it usually falls under the India Pale Ale in the bitterness category, and I like pale ales. They tend to be nice, middle-of-the-road, enjoyable most seasons of the year. Uh, Sierra Nevada, for instance, has probably the most recognizable pale ale. Their flagship beer is the green can Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. I suppose you can get it in bottles too, but it's mostly in the cans in my experience. Um, in fact, that was probably the first beer I ever had if I'm recalling properly. I did not enjoy it back then, and I believe I've discussed that in the past. I enjoy it now, but I wasn't a fan back then. Anyways, let's dive into Kulshan's offering and see how it stacks up. Color-wise, it's a uh, straw. Uh, it's not clear. It's not particularly clear. I mean, it's not cloudy, but it's not transparent either. Smell-wise, Definitely to the tropical side. It smells like a like a light, dry, uh, hazy IPA. And that's definitely a welcome sort of thing. I find, if I'm thinking about the flavor families that work better at given temperatures, the tropical, they tend to be warmer flavors in my experience. And so they don't, um, they don't work so well on the hottest days. And so if I'm looking for a pale ale or a beer that is particularly suited for hot days, I'm not really going to be looking for tropical flavors per se. I'm going to be looking more for citrus flavors. That The, the citrus, like the, the lemon peel and the orange peel kind of flavors are more, they, they're just cooler flavors to me. They're better hot, hotter weather flavors to me. Um, so that's just so you know how I'm or where I'm approaching this beer from and then you can make your own decisions. If you feel like, you know, passion fruit is the perfect hot weather fruit, then your opinion may differ. And that's fine. You're just wrong. So, definitely picking up the tropical flavors. Uh there's a little bit of citrus, but it's more um like blood orange. Kind of that sweet low acidity orange. This is a very mildly hopped, um, or it's, it's a beer with a very mild bitterness at the outset. It definitely starts off like a, like a very mild um, malt-forward hazy IPA. You get this kind of soft sweetness of the tropical flavors, and then you get the, 
um, the, the, the hoppy, this kind of um, more of a West Coast uh, juniper and pine tree hoppiness kind of builds later, but it stays very mild and and it kind of uh, bifurcates at that point. So it starts with this kind of tropical juiciness that's that's really mild and kind of thin. Um, and then you get this this kind of West Coast bushy uh, juniper uh, hoppy note at the same time, this kind of watery finish. Uh, that's su certainly not unpleasant, especially for a, for a warm weather beer. I find that that kind of juniper and pine uh, bushy bitterness that builds on uh, traditionally with a, a West Coast style IPA and definitely with this pale ale, um, it makes you want to take another drink. Not because it's unpleasant, but I don't know. There's something about it that just drives me to want to drives me to want to take another drink. But even as I'm saying that, there is, I think the thinness of the start of this beer doesn't do the same thing. So it has this almost, it has this, this light New England hazy IPA start. It has this almost west coast ipa finish and and those the start doesn't complement the finish i think yeah um it's not it doesn't seem as cohesive i think is a, a the best word as the fremont summer ale um which just is very much more uh it it tastes like a, a a creamy wheat beer with that really nice super dry um uh lemon peel and orange peel tartness and is just a much more cohesive beer this isn't bad it's not a bad beer it's i just find it the way its flavors merge and meld and mingle and mutate um is not it's not my favorite Oh darn! I, I mean, I still have to finish the cans, right? I'm not gonna. I'm not. It's not a drain pour. It is far from a drain pour. I just might enjoy this more inside in the air conditioner than outside in the heat. So sue me. Sorry, Kulshan. I love what you do. Um, I just like Fremont's better. So, on that note, this is me. Drinking and giving my uh, unfiltered opinions on this unfiltered beer, the Greenwood Summer Ale by Colshan Brewing Company. But chewing the brew, and I will catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>